Hey everyone, happy Monday. I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today I am taking a look at the Super Mario Deluxe Bowser's Airship playset, which is available right now from Jack Specific in the two and a half inch scale line. I would like to thank Jax for providing this for review. Greatly appreciate that. So just as we've seen the Deluxe Mushroom Kingdom and Bowser's Castle, this is their primary Super Mario offering for this year, and it's fantastic. Just look at all that great attention to detail there. I think they really knocked this out of the park while making it something truly special that I believe every Super Mario World of Nintendo fan should definitely have as part of their collection. The box art, which you see here, is just really phenomenal. On the left here, it shows you how you can store your figures. You can store many other two and a half inch scale figures that we're going to take a closer look at. This set also includes or features a spinning propellers. It plays video game sounds, and it includes a two and a half inch Super Mario figure, which has been offered many times before, but it's offered again in this set. On the side here, you have a look at Super Mario and the airship. And on the other side, you have a closer look at how the figures are displayed or I really should say how they're placed inside there. Basically, you just take the top off and just throw a bunch of figures in there. Just pretty neat. On the back, you have a look at another look at the airship, as well as uh, Bowser placed on there now. It shows you the features that I mentioned before. Brief description right here on top. And a look at three other sets that are also available opening the box and that is what the airship looks like just out of the box some minor assembly is required some stickers are also included so I'm going to be applying those and it comes with a sheet of instructions here there seems to be at least three parts of the airship all tied down so what I'm going to do now is assemble this and let's take a closer look now that I have assembled the Deluxe Bowser's Airship playset, let's take a look at it. As I said, while checking out the box, it has the rotating propellers on top, so all three of these can rotate. The cannons on the both sides here don't actually shoot cannons. These are just really for show. The front of it has a great sculpted detail and paint app of Bowser's head right there which is very nicely done. The other side is just identical. And you have this button right here, which plays the sounds, as you'll remember from the video game. So you'll have number of sounds that's cannon fire Bowser screaming and just various sounds like that the back of it you have a smaller head of Bowser and you also have this rotated piece right here to change its location well to turn it in the air but you don't really need that because it's in the air, not the sea. When you move the airship, the propellers on the bottom here also rotate, which is a nice effect. They really did a nice job on the gimmicks right here. And let's take a look at some of those details on the top here. So there's no actual uh, steering wheel or anything on here, which I find a little surprising, but they really did a nice job on the details here. The boards, a lot of very nice sculpted details going on here. Where you see that. And there's your look there. 
Bowser himself can be placed right on the airship. And scale-wise, it works in pretty well. I will say that comparing it to images online as well as images on the box, this is smaller than I thought. Now, keep in mind that New York Toy Fair 2021 didn't actually happen in person. So I never got to see this in person until images were online, which is a bit unfortunate. But so this is really my first time seeing it in person. And my first thought, I love it. However, it's small. And I just want to give you guys a look at some of the changes between the box and the final product here. Obviously, the box is artwork. They can pretty it up any way they want. The final piece here has a completely different, lots of different colors, especially the wood where the box depicts it as a darker brown. The final piece is more like a very light, almost orange brown, which I really like the one on the box a lot better. If, uh, I got to be completely honest with you guys. And those changes you also see on the top here, the propellers, everything, it's all changed color. So I do find that a little bit disappointing, but I do understand they need to keep it cost effective and that's why you would have changes like that. However, there are a lot of great sculpted details on there that look like wood, that looks like various other things, and they really did a nice job on it. These are the labels that I put on, or stickers. And there's also stickers of Bowser's head right here on top of the cannon, and that would be on both sides here. But one more comparison between the box and the final product here. Just to give you guys a look. So, once again, scale-wise, this is a perfect addition to the 2.5-inch line. As you can see, both the 2.5-inch Mario and Bowser figures, as well as other figures that are offered in the scale. Very nicely done. They really did a phenomenal job on here. Mario shares the same sculpt as previously offered. However, there are some changes in this deco here than you might be used to. This new Mario figure has a metallic blue overall, which I don't think it's been offered like that before. It's a little bit darker than other variations of Mario I have, just like this. So just be aware that they did make that small little change, which is very nice. And there's a comparison from the back there. The other primary feature about this airship is the fact that you can store a ton of figures and other objects inside. So what you want to do is just remove those clips right there. And you can just lift that up. Now inside, right now it's empty. Which you see all that interior detail there. The batteries are located right where I just pointed on this side. So you can fit a lot of figures and stuff like that in there. So here's your look at a ton of different figures and objects placed inside the airship. It can hold a lot of things, which you see there. There are a number of characters, number of game pieces, such as the yellow question mark box so you can fit a lot of things in there you can even fit a ghost I just threw in there just to show you a lot of storage in here and once you have everything stored you can just put this very carefully right back on top you gotta line it up push it down Okay, there's that. And then once you do that, you can just snap the sides 
back into place to keep everything from falling out. And there you go. So there's your look at that. On top, the airship can be loaded up with a handful of figures. However, really not too many. I wouldn't say really more than six, for example. Otherwise, you'll just overcrowd it. So just be aware of that it's definitely not long enough to hold too many figures, which is really the only thing that's a bit disappointing to me. That's what I meant by it's a little smaller than I would have liked. But overall, this is really a phenomenal playset. I really think fans are going to love it. Jack's designers have really did a phenomenal job on here, just as they've done with the castles and other playsets over the years. So my recommendation is definitely pick this up, especially if you've been collecting the line. I really think you guys are going to love it. Thank you again to Jax for providing this for review. Greatly appreciate it. I am Anthony Scott of Toy Hype USA. Thank you for watching. And if you buy one, check out the links off of ToyHypeUSA.com under where to buy. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coverage.